Hello YouTube and Miss Fox. I was uh, discussing visual effects with a friend today and he was encountering a problem in which he had a uh, a file in which he needed to paint something out such as a wire but obviously he couldn't paint stuff behind it because there was some quite complex stuff going on behind and he needed a plain background plate and that occurred to me that quite a simple technique that some people don't consider and that is going into Photoshop and creating a clean plate before you start um, trying to paint out the object so in this example this is taken from the Shake 4 training series you can see that we actually have a blank plate that is just a piece of footage. It's got a car at the bottom, but that's irrelevant because the area we're working on is this area up here. So basically what we're going to do, and obviously this technique doesn't just apply to shake, this applies to everything. Um, I'm just doing it in shake because I had shake loaded up and I was just going through my old uh, tutorial files. What we can do, we can take an image node, we're going to take the uh, quick paint and just plug our clean plate into the uh, other side of our quick paint. And we've got a few brush op options here. What we want to do is use the reveal. It's quite cool that um, it's a guy opening his jacket for the reveal button. That was quite amusing. Anyway, we can click on that. That's the reveal tool selected and here we can use a hard brush or a light brush, I'm going to use a hard brush for now and if we just zoom in which is just the plus tool hold down alt and we can uh, move around just by clicking and dragging go to frame 1 you can see that in all the frames we have this uh, crane in the way which isn't what we want so we can change our paint mode to to persist which means that what we do now is going to be on all the frames so we can now paint back in our tree and alt to move remember and we can paint over this we just want to line it up with this we use the edge of the building as the edge like that now we can zoom in a bit more what we'll do we're going to uh, frame mode and we'll start painting out this um, wire and we're going to go to the next frame, just the arrow along key and again and again and again and we've just got 10 frames here I'm just doing it quickly, you might want to take your time and actually care about what the final piece of footage looks like and that's it, there's only 10 frames in this example uh, like I said, this is off the Shake 4 training series, a really good DVD um, book series. Um, even for other programs, the template files that you get are really good. We just zoom out here, we can uh, see that we've actually now removed this wire and crane, so it does look like this guy is flying apart from apart these uh, few dots, but we can just uh, go through and clean these up. There and there. And we can't really fix it from there, but we could, we can. But in that case, we'll be using the clone brush, which is um, a different tutorial, maybe. So let's go for it. There we go. Wonderful. Very simple. Just hold down shift to move around this source bit and the final paint. But there we go, that's a simple tutorial uh, basically encouraging you to find a clean plate before you try painting out stuff and that will make your job so much easier as long as the uh, shot is stationary. But I hope this was slightly useful and now it's very basic but it might be helpful nonetheless and I will see you guys soon.